Hi, I'm Jim from Mercedes-Benz. I'm going to show you some of the features in your car's command navigation system. To learn how to enter destination, please view the separate video first. Commands maps are designed to offer clear guidance and ample advance notice of turns along your selected route. For your safety, we recommend that you listen to the voice prompts rather than looking at the map while driving. And remember, roads and other conditions are always subject to change. You can choose a number of routing options to your destination. Press the Navi button near the command controller, or use the controller to select navigation from the upper menu bar. From the lower menu bar, select Options. Then, Route Settings. Your options include a fast route, a dynamic traffic route, which is based on the fast route, but monitors traffic along the way, and can suggest alternatives based on current conditions, an economical route, which might take longer but could save fuel, and a short route, based on distance. If you turn on the Calculate Alternative Routes feature, the system will automatically offer a number of options every time you enter a destination, even including current traffic conditions. The Avoid Options feature lets you tell the system to calculate routes without highways, ferries, toll roads, carpool lanes, and more, wherever possible. During route guidance, you can customize the map view. To show the map full screen, without menu bars, slide the command controller forward or press the back button. To zoom in and out, rotate the controller. To change the map view from the navigation menu, select Options from the lower menu bar. The Map Orientation submenu lets you select which way the map faces compared to your direction of travel. You can choose to have North always up at the top of the map, or have the map rotate as you drive, so your heading is always up. You can view this as a flat map or a 3D map, which represents the terrain and some building profiles. You can also say these commands. Press the voice control button on the steering wheel and say Map View North or Zoom In. Even with the map on the full screen, it will automatically change to a split screen as you approach a turn. Details about the next turn will appear, along with guidance for choosing the best lane to be in along the bottom of the screen. At other times, you can add features to be shown on screen. From the Options menu, select Map Content to see your choices. To show points of interest on the map as you drive, select POI Symbols. You can choose the default set of symbols, including gas stations and other places, or customize it from a list of options. To show the current street name or the geo coordinates below the map, select Text Information. To show the next street coming up on the map, select Next Intersecting Street. The Highway Information option displays upcoming gas stations, rest areas, and exits in three continually updated bars along the side of the screen. If you'd like to stop at one of these, slide the controller to the right, then turn and press to select it. You can also check the map version and learn how to update it in your operator's manual. You can also have command always show you a smaller map on the left third of the screen, no matter what other mode you're in. Press the vehicle button by the controller, and from the lower menu select Settings, Display, and Additional Display Area. Then just select the map option from the list. In addition to the spoken turn-by-turn -turn guidance, Command offers several other announcement options. From the Options menu, select Announcements, and check the options you desire. You can have the system announce street names, turn on the fade-out of the audio system when an announcement is made, be alerted when fuel is low, and be asked if you'd like help finding a fuel station, and if the Attention Assist feature alerts you to possible drowsiness, it can ask if you'd like help finding a rest stop. There are many other ways to customize the map features. For example, from the lower menu, you can select Traffic, and you'll see options for viewing the flow of traffic on the maps, and to have traffic alerts read aloud to you. At any time, if you'd like the system to repeat a spoken instruction, scroll to RPT and press down to select. We recommend programming this feature as one of your one-touch keypad favorites. You can do that from Command's Vehicle menu, under Settings. You can make the voice prompts louder or softer the same way you change the audio volume, anytime a voice prompt is being spoken. 
And to shut off the spoken instructions, press the mute button on the steering wheel during an announcement. To turn them back on, it's the same process as repeating an instruction. For more information and settings, please see your operator's manual. Remember, there's also an on-screen digital operator's manual in your command system. Just press the Navi button and select Info on Navigation. If you have further questions, your Mercedes-Benz dealer will be happy to help. Thanks for watching.